Okay, in this video I'm going to do a mixed review of radical expressions and specifically I'm going to do an example of how to multiply radical expressions, how to divide radical expressions, and then how to rationalize the denominator of a radical expression when there's a binomial in the denominator. Okay, so let's get right to it. Let's take a quick look at this one. Um, we're going to multiply 9 radical 5 times 5 radical 2, 42. Now, I usually like to tell my students, I want you to just notice what you see first. Don't just like dive right in, but notice what you see. And one of the things I see here is that both of the radicals are square roots, right? Uh, they'd both be like an index of two up here if there were one. Uh, the other thing I notice is that they both have coefficients. Here's a nine and here's a five. And remember when you multiply radicals, you multiply like type of terms, right? But even before that, so that's what I see right off the bat, but even before that I see that 242 can probably be factored even further. So that's what I'm going to do first, okay? So let's just get started. So 9 radical 5 basically just stays as 9 radical 5 since 5 is already a prime factor. 5 and then 242 is just what, 2 times 121 or 2 times 11 squared, because uh, 11 times 11 is 121. So I'm just going to rewrite that again as 9 radical 5, 5 radical 2 times 11 squared. Now, the reason that's important is because the square root of 11 squared is 11. So that means now I can take the 11 and put it on the outside. So let me just do that. So 9, radical 5, and then here I've got 5 times 11 times radical 2. Almost done. So now since these are both prime factors underneath, right, and I can't go any further, and these are all the numbers that are coefficients, I can multiply the coefficients and then multiply the radicands. So I get um, 9 times 5 times 11. And, whoops, sorry about that. Let's just go ahead and get my calculator out. 9 times 5 times 11. And that gives me 9 times 5 times 11. That gives me 495. So out here I've got 495 times radical 10, and that would be my answer. Okay? Now, let's continue on with this division. Now when you have a fraction like this one, underneath the radical sign, you can do one of two things. You can simplify the fraction already that exists, or you can break it up into two separate radicals. All right, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do that part, I think, first. Um, I'm going to uh, not break it up into separate radicals, but I'm gonna simplify the fraction itself. So let's see what we got here. I know that 63 is nine times seven, or 3 times 3 times 7. I know that 75 is 3 times 25, or 3 times 5 times 5. Now, the reason I wrote it out this way is because I can now simplify this particular fraction by factoring out the 1s. So now I've got this, right? So the 3 over 3 goes out, and I've got the square root of 21 over 25. Continuing on, I'm going to use that second technique that I told you about. I'm going to say the square root of 21 over the square root of 25, since I can break those out. 21 doesn't break out any further, because 3 times 7 is already prime factors, but the square root of 25 is 5. So my final answer is going to be the square root of 21 over 5. And there's my answer, the simplified form. Okay, finally, the last one. 
Let's rationalize this denominator. Remember, when you rationalize a denominator, you're going to multiply by the conjugate. Remember that word, conjugate. And the conjugate, remember, is basically the binomial with the exact same terms, but with reversing the sign in the middle only. So I'm going to multiply this by 8 minus radical 2 over 8 minus radical 2. Remember that multiplying by 1 doesn't change the quantity of this expression, but it does change the form. So now I've essentially got two simpler problems. I'm going to multiply this monomial times this binomial, and then this binomial times this binomial. Let's start at the top, the numerator. 8 times radical 6 is 8 radical 6. Negative radical 2 times radical 6 is a negative radical 12, which I know I can reduce further, but I'm going to wait till another step to do that. Down here I've got 8 times 8, 64. 8 times negative radical 2 is minus 8 radical 2. This is going to be plus radical 2, 8 radical 2 rather. I know that those are going to cancel. And then finally, radical 2 times a negative radical 2 is minus radical 4, or just 2. Let me just simplify all those, however, in this next step. I've got 8 radical 6 minus, this becomes 4 radical 3, right? And that's just a square root of 2 radical 3. And this becomes 64 minus 2. Let's just move on now. This becomes 8 radical 6 minus 2 radical 3 over 62. Now again, whole numbers are all similar, right? So I can actually reduce those. Let me just factor 2 out of each one of those. And I'm going to end up with 4 radical 6 minus radical 3. Let me show you how I do that. Just factor the 2 out of there, all right? And then I'm going to factor a 2 out of here. And then I can cross out that 1. Final answer then would be 4 radical 6 minus radical 3 all over 31. Okay? Okay, I hope that was helpful for you.